very often in dialogue with people who are suffering or even people who are, who are celebrating great joy, um, they might not know the source of their suffering. And, and we might not either. We might have to sort of enter in, into that. And so, you know, compassion really is, you know, in a nutshell, in terms of, you know, developing it as a virtue, it's just willing to, to take a second and, and think about um, the, the dignity of the person right in front of you. Yeah. Right? The, the, the human being that, that, that is another beloved son or daughter of the father, that, that is your brother and sister, right? That is, is another human that shares in the same thing that makes you human, they share in, right? Yeah. Um, with the same hopes, the same dreams, the same things that break their heart and fill them with joy and lead them to laughter. Mm. And, and, and if that's the root of compassion and it's directed towards truth, right? I mean, Benedict XVI's Caritas and Veritate, Caritas and Veritate is all about this. Mm. It's one of my favorite documents, you know, um, that, that, that charity has to be guided by truth. Mm. And so that, that compassion is not just about doing stuff for people. That's way too insufficient. It's about doing those things people need and want so they can become who they are. Yeah. So, you know, com- being compassionate is, is not giving people bad things, right? Like, you know, if, if, um, if, if somebody is suffering because of a, a lack of clean water, um, you know, compassion is not only providing for their acute need of giving them water, but also then providing the ability to access water. Mm. Right? Like it just makes sense. We know that to be true. Which, which then at that point does begin to require cooperation. Yep, exactly. Of working alongside, whether that's individuals or communities or other civil and, and even religious leaders, right? Yep. So tell us about cooperation. Just remind us real yep. quickly what that's so about. So cooperation is, is this unity and, and working together towards a common goal. And it's got to be a, a just end and a just means. Mm. And ultimately, both compassion and cooperation should be in such a way that it elevates the horizon of man towards their eternal destiny. Nice. Man, so, I like the sound of that. In, in other words, you know, we're not just trying to provo- provide for their immediate needs. We're simultaneously trying to help them flourish in such a way that their life can be integrated towards both its imminent and its transcendent purposes. 